Hi guys, it's me again with a new I Am Fun Size, finally. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks and I'm sorry for the little break that I took here. Um, there were a lot of things going on, a lot of exciting things. Um, and the question that I'm going to address in today's video actually sort of applies to why I took the two weeks away from doing the videos. So this works out kind of perfectly. Um, and pardon the mess behind me, I'm redoing my office in these pretty spring colors, very springy full. Springy full, sure, that's a word. Okay, um, so this question came from Philip. Um, hey Anjali, I'm currently running into a predicament. I'm 18 and set to graduate from high school in less than two months, and while I don't know what exactly I want to do once I graduate, I've been assured that I still have time to. While I'm deciding what I want to do, I've had an issue that I haven't been able to solve within the past two months, trying to focus more on myself than others. I've always focused on being an altruistic person since I was young. Even now, I'll spend more time focusing on helping others than really helping myself. While I want to spend more time focusing on me and not spending all of my time helping others, although there's no harm in it, I don't want to come off as someone who is selfish or pretentious either. Well, this is a bit of an awkward question. I'd like to know what advice you'd give to someone who wants to spend more time putting themselves forward instead of putting others before himself. Well, Philip, first of all, congratulations on being ready to graduate. This is an incredibly exciting time, and you should absolutely be taking the time to enjoy it and soak it in for yourself because, you know, you only experience this once. So really take, take a moment to look around and, and see how much you've accomplished. It's really, really exciting. Um, second, your question is actually one that I have addressed within myself many times in my life because I too have a tendency to really want to uh, put other people before myself, um, and not even so much before myself, but I'm, I'm so excited to help other people that sometimes I actually forget that I need to take care of things in my own life too. And... Um, one of what I consider the best analogies for this is when you get on a plane, when you get on a plane and they do the security announcement or the, the safety announcement and they tell you how to use the oxygen masks and they say, make sure you put on your oxygen mask before you help others. The reason for that is if you don't put on your oxygen mask first and try to help others, you may pass out before you get a chance to help the others and then, you know, nobody's in good shape. And that kind of is a good reminder to me, for me, that when I am not taking care of my own business, taking care of my own life, my own emotional well-being, my career, all of those things, when I'm not taking care of of myself, I'm not really as good at taking care of others. You know, um, it's easy to get depleted. It's easy to forget that you have needs too. Not that you're needy, but that you have needs, basic needs. Um, above and beyond just the basic needs of, you know, food, shelter, and, and security, and whatnot. We all need to fuel ourselves. We need to fill the well within ourselves to be able to give to others. Um, and if you are feeling like you are depleted because you want to put everybody else first and you can't take care of your own, your own life, then you really aren't as devoted and you can't be as focused on helping others as you want to be because there'll always be a little nagging part of you that's saying, but I need to take care of this and I need to take care of this. And that can even lead to, in the long run, resentment of helping other people. So... What I'd like to propose is that, first of all, the people who love you and the people who understand you know full well the kind of person that you are, that you are an altruistic person, that you are a giving person, that you do love helping others. And those people will probably relish the fact that you are taking care of yourself. You don't have to focus on yourself to the exclusion of other people, but taking time to take care of yourself is actually a gift to the people around you too, because the better you are within yourself, the more you have to give. So I would say put away any kind of guilt or concern that you will look pretentious or that you will look selfish. Chances are, um, judging by what you've written to me and, and what, I, what I think I understand, chances are what you think is selfish is really just good self-care. So I hope that answers your question. Um, and, and as I was saying, it applies to the last two weeks because I needed a little bit of time to replenish after I finished my show and I had some family in town and 
something had to give and so I ended up having to put these videos aside for a minute so that I could take care of the immediate needs that I had around me. So now I get to come back to you guys fully replenished and fully excited and ready to take on all of your questions and I feel really great about it. So that was a very long and rambling video this time. Philip. I hope that answered your question. If it didn't, write me back again and we'll keep going through it. Um, as for the rest of you guys, please stay tuned. We'll keep doing more videos. They won't take as long between now and the next one. Um, if you are finding that these videos are interesting to you or are helping you, please share them with your friends. Please subscribe and let other people know about the I Am Fun Size video series and this channel um, because I'd really like to help as many people as physically possible. Um, I don't give advice so much as my opinion, so hopefully this will... Um, this will just be one more tool for people to put in their pocket as they go through their day. Okay, guys, I'm off. We'll talk to you next time. Bye.